Good morning. Mike Scott here, the movie critic at the Times Picayune in New Orleans and NOLA.com. Welcome back to the Movie Cave for today's Popcorn Breakfast. Today is Tuesday, August 26, 2014. And we'll start with news on Warner Brothers' planned vacation reboot slash remake. Uh, remember, this project was put on hold for a little while while they worked out some, some behind-the-scenes differences. Already announced, Ed Helms is going to star in the film. He's going to play Rusty Griswold. Remember, he's one of the he played Rusty Griswold as a character who was the son of Chevy Chase's character in the original movie. Now he's all grown up, takes a family of his own on his own predictably disastrous road trip. Christina Applegate is going to play his wife in that movie. And now we have new two new cast additions, and they are Chris, Hems, Chris Hemsworth of Thor and Charlie Day of Horrible Bosses and It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Hemsworth is reportedly going to play the anchorman husband to Rusty's sister, Audrey, who a part that hasn't been cast. Day is going to have what's being more, described as more of a cameo role as a river rafting guide. Also making cameos in the movie are going to be Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo, who of course played the Griswold parents in the original vacation comedy. This one is, uh, again, it was delayed for a while, but now the, according to reports it's going to start shooting in September. So it looks like things are uh, they're about to hit the road, uh, so we'll bring you more on that as, as news develops. Moving on a little bit to Ellen Burstyn, who's really pretty much done just about all there is to do in Hollywood. She's won an Oscar, she's won a Golden Globe, she's got two Emmys, she's got more nominations than you can count. She's been a driving force and an instructor at the actor's studio for the past 40 years, but there is something the 81-year-old actress hasn't done, and she's going to remedy that now. She's going to direct the film. She's actually going to star in and direct a film called Bathing Flow, a character piece that she read and just fell in love with. It, it tells the story of a man who is hired on to house sit for somebody. He needs a place to live, so he decides to house sit for somebody. It's only after he shows up and takes the gig, he realizes that coming with the deal is the homeowner's 70-year-old mother, who he's also got to care for. That part uh, presumably will be played by Burstyn. This isn't the first time that she's wanted to direct. She's wanted to direct most of her career, but she's, uh, she says that uh, nothing would ever really align. Either the project wasn't right for her to star and direct, or really Hollywood wasn't ready yet for a, a, a woman director. Now all that's changed. She's getting ready to take, take the helm. Again, Bathing Flow. We'll bring you more on that one as it develops as well. And then finally today, we learned a couple weeks ago, remember, maybe it was last week, that uh, John Favreau's Chef is going to be re-released in the theaters this coming up Labor Day weekend, uh, part of a, an early award season push. Well, now another movie is following suit. Another another similarly veined movie, uh, one that, that's uh, kind of an uplifting film. This one a little bit more musical, though, and it is uh, Begin Again, the Mark Ruffalo, Kira Knightley film. That one, the Weinstein Company, is going to re-release that one this weekend as well. No y word yet on what local uh, theaters are going to be carrying it, but uh, I, I recommend both those movies, Chef and Begin Again. If you're undecided as to what to go see this weekend, you can't lose with either of those. And that's all the time that I have for today. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. <laughs>